It's always hard to get everything to work right. You ever notice that? Okay, here we are in my shop again in Evanston where I'm working on this um, vintage. Uh, this is a silver tone ukulele made by the Harmony Company back in the 50s. And what I'm doing is um, showing you how you get a surface like this on a piece of wood. And this is so compelling. My plumber came in this morning to give me an estimate on something. He walked by and said, what is that? I told him, he said, I want one. This wood sold itself just on the basis of how it looks. And it did that because before I strapped it into the, the vise here, I French polished it. And I need to explain French polishing to you because every time I get into this, um, somebody comes up with some refinement that I should know. Anyhow, this is a palm. And if I open it up, you'll see it's an expensive old t-shirt that wore out. So I cut it into squares, and inside of it, I put this, which is a couple of wads of cotton and some uh, flakes of shellac that come from um, Southeast Asia that are scraped off of trees um, that some bugs have been sitting on. Um, and then you um, basically saturate this thing with alcohol and wait for the shellac to melt. And then what you do to put it on is you just smooth it on there very slowly, just like this, without much pressure at all. And it, it lays down an extremely thin surface of shellac, which is exactly what you want to do this kind of finish. The thinner the surface of shellac, the better you are. So I've got very, very thin layers of shellac on here, maybe four layers now. And every layer, that I put on here, it's going to look deeper. It's going to look much deeper and uh, much more handsome, and um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, it's come out to be exactly what I needed it to be. I didn't use the dark ebony filler that I used on the earlier ukuleles that I built, or that I repaired, because um, I wanted to see how this worked, and if I could get a mahogany finish that's not so yellow, and it, it works. It doesn't come out so yellow at all. It's pretty nice. Actually, it's beautiful. Um, so that's how you do it. It's not that complicated a process, but it takes some patience, and you have to do it slowly and diligently, and, and uh, it dries almost instantaneously. So, oh, look, there's a scratch. i got to get that off there. Um, where is There's a little piece of sandpaper here. Yeah. Here's why this is good. I found a bump, I found a bimp, as they say, on the surface here, and I don't want that there. So I'm sanding it down until I get down to almost down to the wood. At least get rid of the bump so I can't see it anymore. And then I'm going to take my palm again, go over it, and look what it does. It melts the old surface, reamalgamates it, as they say in woodworking, and um, leaves you with a repaired area that you can't see was repaired. And with every other layer that I put over this, that will disappear even more. Um, it'll become a more, a more deep surface, because there's something about the way this works on wood. Um, whenever you put a layer of it on, it adds like 6% of depth to the wood you're looking at. So you get a really clear sense of what the grain looks like. And I love that. So, that's French polishing. And that's where we are on this ukulele. And like I said, my plumber saw it and he wants one because he thought it was so beautiful. So I'll make him one too. But um, we're about halfway done with this one now. Um, it's got a customer already. Remember, these ukuleles are being rebuilt to collect money for a food program in Evanston. I think we now have about $1,200 to give to them the end of this month, which we will, of course, and we'll give you an accounting of what we do with it. But um, the project is working the way that I thought it would, and I'm happy to say that. So you take care. Prepare to vote. Please make sure that you vote, whether it's by mail or in person. It, it doesn't matter to me. I trust the Postal Service, but just vote. Um, you need to vote this year. Um, if you, if you, feel, um, you don't feel impressed with the candidates, trust me. You got a much better set of options than we've ever had in the in the past time, past couple presidential elections. So, so just um, vote. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye.